Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for Altenew and I am so excited to be part of the October 2018 stamp and die uh, release. And what you see right now is some of the stamps that I used to create this layer and it's called Playful Blooms. And I actually am using, I'm going to use the stamp and the die set and I'm going to combine them with the classic uh, alphabet die. But let me first show you how, how simple and how beautiful this stamp is. And all I'm doing is I'm starting with black ink and I'm using all the Altenew inks. Uh, and I'm, first of all, I'm going to layer, I'm going to create the outline and I'm going to start working on layering this flower. Super simple. There's just a few steps. Super simple to layer. And I'm going to keep it also, all the flowers within the yellow and the blue kind of tealish look i have this idea in mind and love this stamp set one because it's so simple to layer and uh, the colors there's so much you can do with it because it comes with an outline you don't have to layer you can watercolor you can emboss it you can do so many things with it and um also because i love having to work with something that has a lot of movement and the stems that come with this flower have like this movement and they're elongated so I think there's so much you can do with it so as you can see right now I chose to work with a lot of black because I wanted to keep the emphasis on bringing the outline like I said that movement and also on the shape of the flower super simple so it took no time to put together and one of the reasons that I loved it is because I actually got the dies for this uh, the stamp set so it was easy for me to I didn't have to fussy cut it I just could just layer it and put it through my uh, die cutting machine and had a few of them actually took no time this layer took no time to put together at the same time that i was die cutting uh, the flowers i also took the time to die cut the word you from different papers because i wanted i wasn't too sure what colors i was going to use so i'm using the classic alphabet die and this die is a must-have has these big bold letters that can create titles you're going to see them if you go to my uh blog there's a a couple of projects that I created using them. And as you can see right now, one of the reasons that I cut in different colors, because I had this picture of my kids last uh, winter. So there's a lot of colors that I'm gonna use in this layer. There's the teal and the blue, and there's the black. But at the end, I was really drawn. I think the color of my daughter's jacket is what's bringing the colors together. So it's this dark teal kind of navy. So I actually found one card stuck in my stash and I cut it and I'm gonna use it. And my idea is i want to build these letters so all i did is i glued them all together and that's going to give me the idea of having chipboard sticker which i love and you're going to see all i'm doing is glue them together just to give me the height and that really thickness i'm thinking of a chipboard a sticker now once i have that done i'm gonna go ahead and add some layers of paper and i'm gonna bring some of these papers no no some all these papers come from the reflection kit i actually have it and i'm gonna bring in some of the yellows and that blue kind of tealish look to the background so i'm just adding i cut some papers ahead of time and i'm just layering behind the picture now i did not want to use a white background for this particular layer i wanted something with color so what am i really drawn with the yellow i think it picks up the yellow of the flowers and i'm going to use a piece of wax paper and all i'm doing is i added a little bit of piece of foam adhesive behind each of the flowers i'm going to play with the formation of the flowers and by gluing it to wax paper it's just going to be easier for me to move it after so as you can see i put the wax paper on top of the um, the cardstock that i'm going to use and i'm just going to play with the formation that's going to give me a better idea of where to have everything in place and then i can easily try and kind of move it onto the paper i mean so i'm also bringing the picture it just makes it easier for me to work so try it one of the things that I've done is some of the flowers, after I stamped them, I cut some of the leaves because I knew that I didn't need to have all that stem. I'm going to use part of it. I want it, like I said, I love the fact that there's a curvature to the stem. It helps me create movement, and I love that. Now, I want to bring some of the black that I'm using on the stamps. So what I'm using is this is one of the reflection kit uh, papers, and I love the black and white uh, stripe that it has. So it's gonna bring a little bit of the black that I'm adding on the stamps onto the layer. So I just trim a piece of the cardstock and I'm gonna glue that onto the right hand side of the layer because I know the left is where the flowers are gonna come from. After that, you're gonna see that I'm gonna distress it a little bit. I just wanna make sure that the, you can see the difference between the two uh, cardstocks. It's just gonna create a little bit of um, texture in a way. Once I have that done, you're gonna see that right away i am gonna actually bring in the flowers and having them on a wax paper is gonna help me put this together in no time literally this took no time to put together now 
as I bring the flowers, you're going to see that I'm going to start adding some more foam adhesive just to make sure that it secures completely to the page. And all I'm doing is moving in the wax paper like every so often just to give me, like to make sure that everything is set the way I have it. I already built the layout on the wax paper, so it's easy for me to transfer it. That's a better word. And um, try it. If you ever have a chance, try the wax paper with Veronique. It's great. And honestly, guys, beautiful stamp. You should try this stamp. This is one of the must-haves, I think. I am a fan of all to you. I was so excited. They invited me for this and this is the first thing that i requested because i loved it as soon as i saw it i was like oh my god it's so me so as you can see all i'm doing and i'm blabbing because i just love it so much i'm building the layout and i'm bringing all those stones the yellows are playing nicely with the color of my kids clothing love it now everything is in place i am gonna go ahead and actually glue the chipboard letters onto the layout and like you see right now i'm just like I said before, I cut some of the leaves. I knew I wasn't going to use the entire stem. I was going to have some as if it was just an elongated kind of curve uh, of flowers. So I'm going to use them just to create some interest and to break sort of like the straight line of the curvature just to create a little bit of interest. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually make sure that I glue the stems down to the cardstock. I don't want to be flying them around the page. And then I'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of the layer. Uh, like I said, having the wax paper makes it so easy to put together. Since I added a little bit of foam adhesive in between the layers of paper that I add behind the picture, I'm just going to glue the picture right onto the layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually glue them, the die cut letters. In this case, I'm going to say chipboard because I layer like there's at least four layers of uh, cardstock in be and behind the, the top, the bottom one, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it and then I'm going to bring one of the acetate of, mm -hmm, forgot the word, butterflies from the reflections uh, kit just to uh, complete the look of the title. Now once I have that in place, you're going to see that I also worked uh, some of the flowers out. Like I said, I wanted to bring interest. I wanted to make it look like they all came from one side and they're going to just because of the curvature, they're like, I'm thinking a, a vine, they're just, you know, mingling around it. So I put a few, like I moved them around the page. And now I'm bringing, I think this is called Simple Flower Stamped It, and I have it, and it had the little sentiment that said, make me happy. So I thought, you make me happy, the perfect title for this layer. These are my kids, the love of my life. And all I'm doing is I'm adding a few sentiments from the sticker set from the reflection kit just to complete, to bring like a little bit more attention and interest to the page. Now, once I had that said, I realized that I had all these stems here that are coming from nowhere and uh, I needed to bring some more, and it kind of going to ground it. It's just, they're just flying. So I'm going to repeat the same uh, procedure, not procedure, but I'm going to add that little bit of black and white paper onto the left hand side too. So I did the same thing. I trim a little piece and then I glue a piece of the paper from the reflection kit and I'm just going to distress a bit of the side. After that, you're gonna see that I'm just gonna add a few um, enamel dots. I just wanted to keep playing with those colors. So I'm gonna use a lot of golds and yellows and teals and light blues. I think I bring a few pink ones, just cause one, um, very light pink, just to pick up the color of their skin. And that's pretty much it. Once it was done, I wanted to bring more emphasis to the title. So I'm pulling out the, the leaf canopy stamp and I'm just gonna have the, Add a little bit of one of the sentiments that says so very much and I thought the title was gonna this is like a subtitle that says you make me happy so very much after that a few lines of journal and that's about it love for this journal super simple love that the fact that everything mingles together they stamped it one of my favorite uh out to new has released and I have quite a few love for this journal and try guys uh check out my blog I'm gonna link it at the bottom and I'll see you back in a bit take care